week, many probably took advantage of all the online shopping deals, but how do you know if you're getting something good? There's a good chance you're going to read an online review about a product. According to the 2016 Deloitte Holiday Survey, 66% of researchers look at customer reviews on a company website. But can you trust online shopping reviews? So Heather, this was one of your good questions mm -hmm. this week. It's a great I one. obsessively look at online shopping oh, yeah. reviews. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever left an online review. And you said only four percent of people do. Yeah, only four. And you, when there's one product out there, only four percent of people who buy it then leave an online review. That's so you're wild. looking at a really small group of people that are leaving. And online what kind reviews. of people are these people? Very particular people in mm -hmm. some cases. Generally, right? they yeah. are. But now these companies are taking this really, really seriously because they know that all. All of us read all of those reviews, and so they are in trying to encourage more people to do those reviews. They're also trying to make it so that the people who are writing the reviews are the people that are actually buying mm -hmm. the product. So Amazon has done a huge overhaul in the past year or so. They say if you want to leave a review on Amazon, you have to spend fifty dollars. But you there. have to be careful of those mm -hmm. negative reviews. Yeah. I think at least because. You're always, some, every product is always going to have someone who has a negative experience, course, right? and yeah. you're much more likely to speak out if you have a really negative experience. So I always kind of toss out, as we call him, the Russian judge. You the, know, Russian the, the most difficult yeah. judge has got to go. And that's yeah. what I think you said. You said that there's something about like being more trustworthy if there yeah. are some negative yeah. reviews, because if they don't have any, you're like, okay, there's no way that not one person exactly. had right. a negative experience. So when you read the reviews, do you guys read the negative ones first? Mm -hmm. I still read them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Most people read the negative ones first. Because you want to know what's wrong with the product. Yeah. You're already inclined to buy it. Right. You're looking at the reviews, mm -hmm. right? And you're more likely to trust online reviewers than you are a friend's recommendation in a lot of cases Why? because these people have already <laughs> bought that exact item. Theoretically, okay. they right. have it, right. But what you were getting at, which was really interesting to me in this story, is that the five stars, the products that got five stars, that wasn't where people were most likely to buy. People were most likely to buy at 4.4 stars because when you have a couple of one, two, three stars, you're going to make your products reviews a lot more legitimate than if every single thing's a five star. Just because it's more believable, so yeah. right. look at those good reviews. Yeah, interesting. I liked what Best Buy had done recently. Yeah. I just had gone and uh, tried to buy a new TV, and they organized it in a different mm -hmm. way. And you said that was really strategic. They did, and they've they've taken a really big effort too. Is they uh, look for little search terms like about picture mm -hmm. quality, about sound and they'll organize it in pro and con so if you want to look for something very specific and that is a very strategic move on Best Buy's part because they know how important the consumer reviews are wow. and we all know we don't read the comments in general no <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to news yeah, don't, don't read, the read the comments all these stories sure want us to do all their work though right yes. like I already oh. bought your product and yes. now you need me to That's review it so other people will buy it yeah. get the emails Forget about it. every I buy you uh, know I bought no. something for nine dollars the other day they wanted me to review to it review no. it. Yeah. Yeah, hard pass on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not gonna not gonna happen. I am